channel if you're new here today i'm back with the second part of our how to build a house series if you haven't watched the first video i definitely recommend going and doing that first but today we are going to be talking about how to make a cute house exterior in bloxburg so let's get straight into build mode and get started so the first thing you need to always remember is you can always make the outside work you can always make it look cute but when it comes to decorating your house, it's really important that you have a good house layout as well. So that's what we've done in the last part. We made this house layout for ourselves to work with. So the house layout is going to perfectly work with what I want from my build. And today we're just going to make the house, the exterior, look as good as we want it to. So I have built this a bit closer to the front than I would have liked. It wasn't the plan but then I put in this big porch so we're just gonna need to make it work like I said and please don't be disappointed in yourself if you're building your own house along with this series sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it doesn't look as good as you want it to but you can always go back in and change it and make yourself love your build and you know what sometimes you just need to be like this isn't working let's scrap it and start again and a little fun fact is <laughs> this is the second time I'm recording this series. I'd done it a couple weeks ago, was planning to post it and then realised, you know what, I don't like this house, I don't like the video, I'm not happy with it, let's try it again. And after the last video I love the layout we've come up with, so I'm looking forward to actually decorating this house. Now. This is a beginner's guide, so I am going to be discussing some of the basics. So today, the first thing we're going to do is hit build mode, and then you can see we have all of this to work with, and all of these tabs, and the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is put in the windows, because that can really show, like, that starts framing your house, so just click on the windows tab, and we've got all of these options. I always recommend, and please, please do this because it drives my OCD mad. Use the same windows. Do not put modern windows with the wee cheap ones. Don't use square windows and then put the big modern ones because I actually can't handle it. It drives me crazy. Um, like I'll always love your build, I'll always comment on it, I'll always tell you how amazing it is but inside I'm going completely mad um, but yeah so one thing you'll notice about my builds is I tend to use the same windows um, not always the same ones like we've got the large factory ones which I actually quite like the smaller ones um, I love these big modern windows but see in this house I'm kind of going for the more role play style so I'm gonna go with more the traditional windows um, and I'm actually just I don't like to put windows that are too big for my wall space because that just doesn't look nice um, but I'm actually just going to put the reference photo up on the screen just so we can see that again and work from it because I actually really liked working from it last time. So you can see my reference photo I've just got it up sorry if you just heard my phone drop <laughs> um, but I'm going to be working off of that today now it's actually looks like it's using more of the large factory windows it's more of like a farmhouse style but this is where you can make your own personal preference choices I know that this window is going to look better for the overall image that I'm looking for so this is what I'm going to use um, now see just a wee reminder you're using WASD to move it about um, and you use you can use Q and E to turn or and I and O to zoom in and out um, on your keyboard and you use the wee arrows to move up and down layers so along with doing that I'm just going 
going to be taking reference of my little pictures and I'm looking at this and realising the way my roofing is that these windows aren't actually going to work the best and that's alright, it doesn't need to be perfect but what you do need to do is try, work your best and I'm sure it will work out so I'm actually quite liking that but so for the sake of this tutorial I actually think this house would look cuter if I used some like custom windows but I'm just not going to go there yet I don't want to overwhelm you guys um, at all because it can be a bit much um, but with this I'm just going to kind of go with what I know and yes this is kind of what I mean about like some walls are just a bit too small for you to put windows and such like this and this is where like on the inside you'll see it kind of looks a bit like that but I know personally when I come to decorate I'm not going to leave it like that and I will work around it and fix it so I don't I'm just not going to worry about that um some of the windows are going to get moved a little bit higher just because of the way it works um and then in here this is kind of what we've got I can't remember if that was going to be a bedroom or a bathroom uh, probably a bedroom but the way this roof came in I just know like we're not going to be having that showing so this is going to get covered either way so all I'm going to do is take the windows and I'm going to place them like this because on the back of them I'm going to put some blinds and we're going to call them fake windows um, and you can't really see at the angle that part of it's getting cut off just because of the way this is um, so it's actually alright but if I was doing it I would probably make some like custom windows out of these wee small basic shape is how you do that. I can always do a wee tutorial later on and um, probably wouldn't even need a full video just like a wee short uh, but you just basically put them you can resize them and you can use some structures to make your own design but for right now I'm just going to go with this. Now something you can do to save money is paint it before you copy it about um, but I never do that I waste my money oh well <laughs> but for now that's just what we're gonna do now I don't want when I'm putting these windows in I don't want this to be matching like it's just not gonna look the best if I have two of the same windows like this that just looks a bit blah so what I'm gonna do is take these small ones again and you're just hitting this little copy tool just so you don't need to keep going in build mode and picking your windows um, and I'm just going to do that and there we go so this is kind of the windows at the front I'm quickly going to do the back and then we'll get to colouring oh, oh, girl you should wear a name tag oh, 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 oh. girl you should wear a name tag us put in all of our windows and right here I'm just going to add in a little porch and this is going to help us frame because you don't want the build to look flat the way it does so the first step I'm going to do is just hit you and we're going to go to basic shapes and we're going to take the cube and the just the normal one and what I'm going to do is, knowing the way the dimensions work, I'm just going to place one here and I'm going to place one here. Now I'm actually kind of thinking that I want to bring this, I want it to be quite a bit raised so I'm just going to do this, using these wee arrows to move it about, like so, because who doesn't like a wee porch? I don't know because everyone does um, but yeah so this is how raised we have it and don't worry about that door because I'm just about to fix it so we've got this and with this I'm kind of realising wait a minute that's a little bit too high so I'm just going to bring it down a wee bit and bring this down a bit and it looks a wee bit funny the now um, but see once we paint it and frame everything it will look totally fine now I actually seen on Instagram there's this amazing builder and her name 
I'm going to so botch this. It's, yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to attempt it. That's her username. She's got YouTube as well. She's amazing. And recently she posted this build. I'll pop it up on the screen. And I love the wee sort of circle steps that she's done. Um, so I really wanted to try this here. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go. So we're going to hit basic shapes and we're going to go to the little circle step. And all we're going to do is place this and put it on either medium or large grid and place it in the middle. And then all we're going to do is bring it down. And then we need to pull it out. Why is that not even? Because I haven't put it in the middle. Because I'm an umpty. Um, so let's fix this relatively quickly. Um, there we go. That's more in the middle. So we're going to fix this and just pull it along. And then to make the step, you don't want to make it too soft. So we're just going to bring it up like that. And then we're just going to copy and paste it on the wrong one that I've tried to copy. <laughs> um, we're just going to copy it on top and then select the top one. Bring it in so it's smaller. And then we've got this kind of little circular step up, which I just think is so cute. It's not as big as hers, but see when I had plants and it's not going to look so weird. Um, I just really like that little detail we've got there and then in here we're going to do some landscaping I'm going to put a wee railing at the side here which I'll actually just go in and do quickly well I remember because half the time I forget uh, but there we go we've got actually you know what we'll make a little custom railing I'll do that super quick but this door needs to go so we're going to hit T after clicking on the door and then it allows us to bring it up so you just hit T and then it goes from normal to you can move the height and there we go so it's like normal doors and that's pretty much it. We've got a cute porch and it works and it adds just a bit of detail. So the next thing we're going to do is see these pillars we are going to take them and we're going to put them around the build just hit large mode and take this off. The best way to do it is from working on the inside. We're just going to place pillars about just to add some detail to the build and I will show you the difference in a minute. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh Above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor This is the kind of difference, it just gives you quite a bit more of a frame on your house. And the next thing that you can do is go over to wall trims and we can start adding some of these. It just adds a bit more foundation to the build. And like so, I just like to always make sure mine connect just to make sure it still has that flow. Um, and then over here I'm just going to add some more. I'm just gonna add this on and then that one I want to be plain but I would like it to have this kind of thick wall trim at the side and then over there I'm gonna continue with this little small one and it just kind of adds this shape to your build that it otherwise wouldn't have um, and it just makes it a lot nicer so I'm just gonna add these around and it'll only take a wee second. Now all I'm going to do is landscape this a bit and colour my build. I might actually also go in here and go to hit decorate, hit curtains and then we've got these little window shutters like so. It can add so much detail to your builds. So I tend to do that on these ones. And you don't need to do it on all of your windows, but you can put it on some and it just adds to your build. I tend to put it in the ones where it's going to make the most difference. So here, like so, and then on these little small ones, it can add quite a bit. So there we go. And I'm just, I do need to add the porch in here at the back um, and do some landscaping on that part. But I think 
just because this video is already at about 20 minutes that I'm just going to do that in a wee separate gardening tips because I've had a lot of people ask me for some like spring garden ideas so I'm going to do that in a separate video and I'm just going to put in the speed bill at the end here you can slow it down in the settings just hit that wee settings icon speed and slow it down as much as you need if you want to rebuild but for now that's it and I will see you guys in another video bye <laughs>
There's no more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby just give me a sign Baby give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign It's all. 